Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And Elon Musk has issued an ultimatum to Donald Trump. This is kind of funny, actually. He's CEO of Tesla Motors, if you don't know. And billionaire Elon Musk is threatening to leave his roles on a pair of White House councils if President Donald Trump pulls out of the Paris Climate Accord, the Tesla CEO said on Twitter Wednesday. Well, <laughs> don't let the door hit you on the way out. Musk said in a tweet he, that he's done all he, I can to advise Trump to remain in the Accord under which the U.S. and other nations have pledged to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. In other words, they've uh, pledged to rape us with what little le- what wealth we have left. In reply in Twitter to a Twitter user asked Musk what he would do if Trump does halt U.S. participation, the Tesla... Chief wrote, We'll have no choice but to depart councils in that case. Oh, good. Like I said, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Musk can face pressure over joining the White House advisory groups and Trump critics. Trump tweeted he will make an announcement about Paris deal over the next few days, but didn't indicate his intentions. Reports have said that he plans to leave the 2015 agreement, which he should. Doing so would be a major reversal of the former resident Barack Obama administration's climate change efforts. <clears throat> Ask about most statements, White House Press Se- Secretary Sh- Sean Spicer said, let's wait and see what the President's decision is. Spicer also said that there's a lot of people Trump gets input from on a lot of issues. Trump named Musk to a strategic policy forum and group desi- designed to give the input, president input on job creation in the economy in December, a little more than a month after being elected. Musk is also part of Trump's Manufacturing Jobs Initiative, which was launched in late February. Under the Paris Agreement, the U.S. pledged to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions by 26 to 28% at its 2005 level. By 2025, Trump's Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Scott Pruitt has called the Environmental Pact a bad deal for the U.S., which it is. The Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson, supports the U.S. staying in the agreement as do major technology and energy firms, excluding... ExxonMobil, which Tillerson ran before, including ExxonMobil, which Tillerson ran before joining the administration. Well, I'm going to explain something to you liberals out there. Now, liberals, there are some liberals, I believe, I can't prove this, I think they're delusional enough to believe that CO2, CO2 is the energy is what heats Earth. I think... I think if you told your average liberal that's what heats Earth, I think about a third of them would probably say, yeah, yeah, CO2 is what heats Earth. But I got news for those of you who would actually believe this. Uh, so take a look up in that sky and look at that big bright ball that's up there. That's what heats Earth, not CO2. CO2 is necessary for life on Earth, libs. In case you haven't figured this out. As for you, Mr. Musk, I got a message for you. You'll see it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Uh.